As seen on TV, products are all the rage. But how do you know which ones are super and which ones are stinkers? That's easy. We're going to tell you. First up on our As Seen on TV time-saving gadgets tested is Peeps. No, not these Peeps. The Peeps eyeglass cleaner. And these have invisible carbon. They brush away harmful dust and clean off messy fingerprints. So let's get inside this little box and see what we've got. It's a little plastic device and on one end there's a little push out brush for removing dust and other particles. And if you squeeze and pull the one end closest to the brush, the cleaner comes out of its little case. And I've worn glasses for most of my life and the ones that I just wear around the house get pretty nasty and dirty. Just smell smudges from your skin and other dirt. You might not be able to tell in this shot, but I've smudged up these glasses extra good for the test of the peeps. So let's get to work. I'll use the brush to clean off any larger particles, and then I just put the peeps around the glass and just start rubbing around. Right off the bat, I can see that the peeps are actually doing a cleaning job on this lens. So I'll continue working around the lens, and what I like about these is it does both sides at one time. Normally you have to clean one side of the lens and then the other side. When I was done, they were really clean. I was actually shocked that these cleaned so well, and they definitely took me less time than just using a cleaning cloth. So based on this testing, the Peeps all-in-one cleaner for eyeglasses and sunglasses gets a big thumbs up. And while we're talking about cleaning, let's take a look at our second time-saving gadget. It's called Super Clean, the high-tech cleaning compound. Absorbs dirt and dust and kills germs. Oh, and a quick note, do not eat. So let's rip into the packaging and what you pull out is kind of a gooey, plasticky material. It seems like it would be sticky, but it's not really that sticky to the touch. So we're gonna put it right to the test with my keyboard. And most keyboards get pretty nasty just from normal use. So I'll start rubbing the super clean on all of the keys, and you can kind of push this down into the crevices as well. When I was done, you could visibly see the gunk and dirt inside the super clean. So I decided to try it out with another notorious germ and dust carrier, the remote control. It did an equally good job on the remote control, so I decided to give another dust and gunk carrier, my PS4 controller, a run through with the super clean, and sure enough, it did an excellent job. And the Super Clean also worked well on my cell phone, which usually collects a lot of dust inside the case cutouts. Super Clean claims to have a shelf life of three years, which is pretty remarkable. So overall, the Super Clean does what it says it's gonna do, and it'll definitely save me time in cleaning crevices out of my electronics. So the Super Clean gets a big, shiny thumbs up. Nobody likes to fold clothes, so that's where the box legend comes in and claims to help you save time folding clothes. It's a six panel plastic product that you unfold to open up. Now to use it for a t-shirt, you lay the shirt face down and then you have to fold up the bottom of the shirt to the edge of the box legend. Then you fold the left side over and back, the right side over and back, and the bottom up and back and you've folded a shirt but what i did notice is part of these short sleeves were sticking out the edge so i think there's one more thing you need to do to make it fold properly so now that i know what i'm doing i'm going to go ahead and use the stopwatch on my phone and time this process again shirt laid down face down bottom of the shirt folded up from the bottom and then i folded the sleeves in then left side over and back right side over and back and bottom up and back and that is a completely perfect folded shirt the time almost 21 seconds to fold a shirt now my easiest method for folding a shirt will time that as well hold the shirt up fold the sleeves in fold it in half and half again now obviously this is a different type of fold but it does the job and at half the time now I'll fold this shirt the way the box legend folds it, and I still did it in less time than it took the box legend to do it. I mean, who needs a perfectly folded shirt? 
The box legend also does pants, and you just basically lay the pant down, fold it in half, and then fold one side over and the other side over, and you've got a pair of folded pants, but I'm pretty confident I could fold a pair of pants quicker than breaking this thing out, setting it up just to fold a pair of pants. I don't fold my pants, I hang them, so that's not going to save me any time. And there's also instructions on how to fold a dress, but mine were all in the laundry. So while this is kind of a cool gadget, it does not really save you any time. In fact, it takes longer to use this than to fold clothes by themselves. So sorry, box legend clothes folder, I get to give you a stinker. Moving right along and next up on our list of time-saving gadgets is the Fur Zapper. It claims to lift pet fur right off your clothes and you can use it in your washer and your dryer. Sold in a two-pack, I busted into this plastic packaging and pulled out the fur zapper. This is another soft, rubbery, pliable gizmo. I think it's designed to look like a pet paw, but to me it looks like a four-eyed sad alien. Our cat Domino is a big boy, and big cats usually have twice as much fur. I know Domino does, he loves to lay on my sumo bean bag, and we have to cover it with a sheet because it just gets nasty and full of fur. So this sheet is going to be my test subject for the fur zapper. I'll take the sheet, throw it in the washer along with the fur zapper, and run the wash normally with detergent. Now, when the washer is done, I pulled the fur zapper and the sheet out, threw it in the dryer, and ran a dryer cycle. When that was done, I pulled the sheet out of there. Oh, where's the fur zapper? Oh, it got stuck up here on the ledge inside the dryer, so we'll remove that as well. And taking a look at it, it looks like it does have fur on it. So let's take a look at this sheet. And believe it or not, all of Domino's fur is gone. It just basically is off the sheet and it's collected inside the dryer lint trap. This is definitely a time saver and does it all without you even knowing about it. So the fur zapper gets a big thumbs up. And last up today as we test some time saving gadgets is the Expand Shoelaces, or as they call it, an elastic lacing system. Sounds futuristic. Let's get inside this package and we have the laces and anything else in there? Nope. Also, there's a small little Ziploc bag that has some plastic pieces in it. And these laces are indeed elastic and stretchy, unlike any other laces I've used. For testing, I'm going to use these sneakers that I wear to my softball games before I put my cleats on. And I've completely unlaced them and they're ready to expand. The online instructions say to lace them like you normally would from hole to hole, checking for length as you go, and then they want you to put your foot in the sneaker and just snug the laces up. Now it's time to use the clip with the two holes in it, that's the lace anchor, then you run the lace down through one hole, up and out the other hole, and then zip it along the lace till it's an inch or so from the sneaker. Then using a pair of scissors, you can cut the ends off, leaving again about an inch, and use a lighter to melt those ends so they don't fray. And you wrap it up by adding the end clip. The end of the lace goes through the hole in the clip and then it just snaps together to hold that lace in place. And you're done with the expand lace. Now repeat the process on the other shoe and then a test fit. And these sneakers are actually nice and tight and I don't have to tie any laces. I can just slip right in, slip right out and it'll make it really easy for me changing into my cleats. So that is the expand shoelace system and I gotta tell you, I really love them. They do the job and they'll definitely save time. So the expand laces get a well-deserved thumbs up. So there you have it. Some time-saving gadgets and one not so time-saving gadget tested. If you like this as seen on TV tested video, then you should check out my others. Just click the screen and head on over to watch more. Hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.